this is Colleen with Designs of Value Art School and today we're going to do a cardinal, a red cardinal. He's just absolutely stunning and he's got a branch that he's sitting on, uh, another branch up here, some branches over here and then it has a lovely muted background that gives you the impression of depth. So that's what we're going to do with that background. That'll be the first thing that we do. I've picked out some colors and I matched it up. I've started our color map so you'll have a copy of this. And the first value that we're going to lay down is going to be neutral tint and a lot of water. So that's going to be our first value. The medium value is more neutral tint and less water, so it's a little bit darker. And then the first dark is going to be neutral tint and Helios purple plus water. And then the last will be neutral tint, Helios purple, and less water. Um, so this one has a lot more neutral tint in it as well. And you'll get a copy of that. I'll photograph this chip that I worked on as well. And then the last color on here, as you can see, there's a little bit of red here, a little bit of red here, and I think we'll put in uh, three of them so that it looks nice and it kind of brings your eyes around like this. So we'll put one over here, and that's a Lizard and Crimson Dark Matter Lake and then just a touch of lemon yellow with water so it's fairly light as you can see here it's fairly light and we'll charge that in at the end okay so that's the design here's the tracing that I used and you'll get a copy of that as well now I'm going to hang him up over here so I can see him put the tracing aside so I know where it is when I need it to copy for you folks there we go. Now what I did do is I put the tracing on the watercolor paper. This is Arches Cold Press 300 gram 140 pound and I like the cold press. I like the texture that it gives you. I also used the drawing gum Peebo drawing gum. I like this product because it had as you can see it is blue but it's real easy to work with it's got a nice wow wide top to it but what I do is I pour a little bit into the cap and then I'm not getting this dirty uh, by sticking my brush into the entire jar but when I first started with this this was very dark blue so I never recommend that you shake your bottle because if you shake your bottle, you're going to get bubbles and that's going to show up in your painting. So you want to just do this. Just twist it very gently. Turn it upside down a couple of times. That's what seemed to really do the best for me. And then do this. And just gently, but don't shake it because you're going to create bubbles. Now with the background, I'm going to use my little water jar. And in my water jar is water blending and glazing medium just a couple drops but it makes the water on the paper stay open longer and what I mean by that is especially with this background we want to be able to get a lot of different colors in there before it dries so this is going to make it stay wet longer and that's what I want okay so we're good there I'm using I think it's Edward Sterling or Sterling Edwards, I apologize. Sterling Edwards, I'm blind. Um, Sterling Edwards brush. Now this is the medium. I also have a small. But I wanted to get a lot of water on here. And I wanted to um, use the larger brush. With this masked off, the water... I mean, it took a little bit of time to do it, but it really was maybe a 40-minute situation to get that on there. And then we're going to charge in some of the other background colors so it won't, it's not going to disrupt and give me a muddy 
cardinal or a muddy branch. So this is going to be fun. Let's go ahead and get this water on here first. And I'm just soaking my brush in that blending and glazing medium. And I'm putting a lot of water on here because I don't want it to dry too quickly. These brushes hold a lot of water. They're nice and stiff. And I like that for doing backgrounds. Now I'm going right over the bird, right over the branches, and that drawing gum prevents that from soaking into that area of the paper, which is really nice. I'm just coating the entire sheet here, right down to the bottom. And I'm going to let this set up for a minute, and I'm going to do it again. Arches paper carries a lot of water, and that's a good thing. I love that. So I like to make sure it's wet, but not dripping. And it's not. It's not beating up in puddles anywhere, which is what you want to look for. Make sure it's not doing that. Just let that set in for a minute. Then I'm going to use my number four brush. This is a Billy Shoal brush. Normally I would say use your six, but this being a, a brush from the United Kingdom, their brushes are larger. This is a number six and it's more like a size eight in ours. So I would recommend the four if you're using the UK, otherwise a six would be a perfect. Now I'm going to just go ahead and put some more water on here. That's because I want to make sure that that's nice and wet. So we got a lot of time to play. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm going to pick up my lightest value which is just neutral tint and water. I'm going to start right up in here. It's a very light, soft blue. And that's what you want. Your first value, you don't want to be real dark. You want it to be fairly light. And the more water you put down on your paper, the lighter that background will be, which is okay. It's kind of what I'm doing. That's what I wanted. See how that color is just beating up on that masking fluid, which is perfect. That means it's not getting into the paper underneath it. That's a good thing. 